Jose Fernandez was taking the mound. And this guy is responding back with Bob Feller. I don't even think I've played anybody with Bob Feller on the mound. So this was going to be interesting to say the least. First time facing this guy. And after the shit that the bullpen pulled in the last game. There was probably no chance in hell I was going to the pen. Unless Fernandez was fucking getting crushed. Getting base hit after base hit. And yeah, I was not planning on going to the bullpen after that last game. So I was looking for a big bounce back from the starter. And this was a offense, or this was, what am I talking about? This was a pitcher's duel. To, to, if I've ever seen one, man, there was not a lot of offense to go around in this game. So be prepared to see a lot of, uh, just a lot of good pitching in this one. Like I said, I, did never, I never played somebody who had Bob Feller on the mound, so I never really got a look at this guy before. And I was actually thinking about picking this guy up at one point because this guy has good, he, does, he only has like four pitches, or actually I think he only has three pitches because he has two fastballs. Well, I guess it is four pitches, but he has two fastballs and a curveball and a slider or something. But he has good velocity, so he throws heat. And that's pretty much the only thing I knew about this guy is that he threw heat. So, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. But, yeah, this was a pitcher's duel. Haven't really had one of those in a little bit, I don't think. And if I was ever going to get one, it would be when Jose Fernandez is on the mound. And I, I need to apologize for not posting a video in the last two days. I just needed to take care of some shit. And today is what, Thursday? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Today is Thursday, I believe. And tomorrow, Friday, I may not be able to post a video either. May I don't know, probably not. And I may not be able to post a video on Saturday either. So that is just a little bit of a heads up. Don't want anybody, don't want anybody to think that I'm dead, dead in a ditch somewhere or just quit or something. No, I just need to take care of some shit over the last couple days and the next couple days too. So, yeah, I'm going to probably Sunday, I'm probably going to start, uh, I'm probably going to continue posting a video a day again. Just need to take care of some shit. And, yeah, I just wanted to say that so no one thinks I'm dead or something like that. Because I have been posting a video a day pretty much for the past, Jesus, ever since I started playing MLB full time and gave up on uh, Madden 16. I kind of, yeah, I've been posting a video pretty much every day and that's what I kind of try and do. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing that again hopefully on Sunday. Uh, maybe Saturday I might, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. I just don't want people to think that I'm dead or something like that. But yeah, so we are in the third inning, and this is where Fernandez started to take over the game pretty much, man. This guy could not touch him. He literally could not touch him, man. I was striking this guy. I was actually starting to get worried. I thought this guy was just, was a zombie. I thought I was playing a fucking zombie because I struck out like seven, eight guys in a row. And I don't even remember the last time I struck out, like, fucking three guys in a row. So, I don't know what this guy was doing. This guy clearly could not touch uh, Fernandez. But I couldn't touch Feller either. Speak, like, what am I even saying? I don't even have a hit on the board. I mean, it's only, what, the fourth inning? So, I, I made some good, I was making some good contact, though, like, with Crawford right there in that inning. You could not even ask for better contact than that. But that was just a line out to uh, center field right there and then Ellsbury I have no fucking idea how he got jammed right there that was a little bit strange I, that was actually a good swing too so I, I don't know I don't, that was just dumb but continuing the domination on the mound strikes out the side Fernandez does so that is I think that was this was, was that the seven no I don't even fucking know but I think this was when I started to strike out like eight guys in a row and then Batista the fucking fly out machine is just flying out right there. Donaldson has kind of been breaking out in the past couple of games and making some good contact again. But that is also another fly out to center field. And if I sound a little bit strange, I'm doing this commentary very early in the morning. So I kind of just woke up. So I kind of sound a bit raspy if you know what I mean. So yeah, that is I think the last video too I said that I might have sounded a bit weird because the, al the allergies are a reason too, man. The allergies are getting to me. I need to get some fucking allergy medication start popping pills every morning because it is fucking ridiculous sometimes i wake up at like five in the morning and my eyes are so itchy i feel like they're gonna burn out of my skull and honest to god sometimes i feel like i'm gonna fucking i can't even breathe sometimes my allergies are taking over and yeah that is just the case so that is why i may sound a little bit strange still we are now in the sixth and shit has still not taken off for the squad i said i was going to start changing up the roster a little bit and I'm going to do that soon still, obviously. I don't know how soon it's going to be, but I'm still looking to get a lot of guys. Okay, if the goose egg was going to be broken, it was going to be from Fernandez. No joke. When he was coming to the dish right there, I was like, all right, he is going to get a base hit if anybody's going to get a base hit. Just a blooper into right field lands. First hit 
of the ball game. That was a huge sigh of relief, man. I didn't want, I did not want to get perfect gamed on this day. And that guy did have the perfect game going. Didn't walk or make it. Didn't, didn't make one mistake this whole game. So finally, I get the base hit on the board in the sixth inning after I walked a guy, I believe. He's getting back on base, but he is just flying out right there. And then Mookie Betts to finish off the inning. Thought he was going to crush that right there. Man, every single time I face Mookie Betts, it is just bad news for me. But I'm able to get out of that inning. So we're now going into the seventh. And I could not ask for a better guy leading off Ellsbury, but I'm making bad contact on that again. Second guessing myself all game. The squad did not have the bats going in this game. Still only have one hit on the board. Struggling to say the least. Yogi is just grounding out right there. So that is pretty much... That's pretty much it for this inning because Batista was up next. And this guy, I need to get rid of Batista, man, because he is swing or miss. The guy's been striking out every two seconds the past couple games. What do you do when you've been striking out left, right, and center and you can't get hits on the board? You start laying down bunts. That is what this guy starts doing. Gets on base from that first button and then tries to move the runner over to second base. But I was having none of that. He's trying to take off. He actually put in Billy Hamilton to pinch run. That is fucking, that is scary whenever that guy is on the bases. But Ellsbury able to make the good catch right there. And then he's trying to take off with Billy Hamilton. I did not think that Yogi was going to have a chance in hell of throwing this guy out. Even with the slide step right there. So now top of the eighth. Miggy, get on the board, Miggy. Please, that is to the warning track. Ah, man, this was, this was, I was actually starting to get a little bit frustrated at this point in, in, this point in the game, man. Donaldson is back up at the plate, takes one, low and away, but he is the MVP for a reason. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. Two. Some people probably didn't believe me when I was saying it, man. I was just waiting for him to break out. And in the past couple games, Donaldson has done just that, man. I think he got two base hits in the last game I played. So he's been breaking out, man. I was just waiting for it. The slump has ended for Donaldson. People have been saying that. Two people have been saying, dude, you need to take out Donaldson, put in somebody else because Donaldson has not been getting it done. But he is out of the slump, man. Getting a huge home run in the eighth inning. So now we're taking the one to nothing lead. This guy's got a guy on third base. That is just, what is this guy doing? Tagging up right there. This guy must not have known. That was flashback Bautista out there because he has the gun. He gets thrown out at the dish. So he's going down, making no noise in the eighth inning. I, was, I just went down one, two, three faster than you could even say one, two, three in the top of the ninth. So first guy I'm getting on the pop fly right there to Donaldson. And Mookie Betts is just grounding out to first base. So this guy is down to his last out of this game. And Fernandez is still on the mound. Obviously wasn't going to the bullpen. Like I said, he's getting on base. So cue the interesting ninth inning. Possibly. Hopefully not. But look at this guy. Look at this guy playing bunt defense and everything. He still tries to lay down a bunt. That is game set and match. Not the best bounce back game after that loss, but still, it was a fucking amazing performance from Fernandez, and Donaldson is out of the slump, man, I'm telling you, he is out of the slump. 